Hello everyone, my name is Devashesh and this is an Ed Shapner production. Welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, I am going to discuss with you how to ace your presentation. You could be PhD, MTech or BTech student and all of you are going to need to present well of your project, maybe some term paper, maybe seminars and you are going to need this particular skill, how to present well. I am a YouTuber, I have been doing a lot of dramatics, so I know a bit about public speaking, let's say presenting well acting you could say so i'm going to share some things which will be helpful for you we will first of all talk about language then we'll talk about clarity of thought and we'll talk about basic uh, arbitrary things which you can remember in order to improve your presentation live so this is going to be the first video in the communication series i'm going to put more videos uh, like these because not all things can be covered in a single five to seven minute video and that is why we will be coming up with how to improve your communication type of things. And there are so many things. There is body language, then there is diction, facial expression, everything. But most importantly, while you are a student, you are in a position uh, to get some grades out of your professors. You need to present well. So you are, in a, you are in a different kind of a leverage. It's your need that you need to present well. And these presentations, seminars, tend to get very one way like you just only present and people in front of you judge you and this is how it turns out you're not speaking publicly that you're not an influencer that everybody has come there to listen to you by paying some fees and everything it's there because you need to have some grades and you are being judged out of your presentations so there are different kinds of things which you need to remember so first of all let, let us talk about what language you need to communicate so remember, you always have to remember what language your audience knows, okay? Especially when you're in the shoes of student. Like I said, it's your need that you get marks. It's not that professor's need that professor haven't told you that uh, we are paying you this much and please talk, talk, uh, talk to me about it and everything. So you have to choose a language which most of the professors or let's say in any, if you're going for some company placement interview, you have to know what language they know, your audience knows. And obviously English language is the one that many people know. And that is why you have to talk about everything in English. And that is exactly why even I am talking in English right now so that you, uh, you can improve your English by listening to me if you are listening to me. There are a few tips in order to improve your English. You could watch movies with English subtitles. If you are watching sports, you could uh, listen to English commentary. You could literally start talking in English with your friends. Don't worry about mistakes because I don't think in India most of the people have English as their primary language. So don't worry about people laughing at you and everything. It's completely alright that you talk in English and make mistakes. If you really want to be good in English, you have to keep talking and also you have to read, keep reading. So this is one tip. But first of all, so that language part is very, very important. And when we talk about language, you, if you are comfortable in Hindi, let's say, if you go in front of professors, and if you notice that most of the professors can also understand Hindi, you can actually ask them, uh, good evening professors, is it okay if I present my project in Hindi? You can actually confess that Hindi is your more comfortable language and you're not that comfortable in English. So please allow me to talk in Hindi if that's possible, if you understand Hindi. And trust me, professors are really kind souls. Sometimes they will they will allow you to talk in Hindi. As long as these are technical institutes, right? right? So as long as you are good in, let's say, your technical project, it's okay that you present yourself in Hindi or English. That's completely fine. So that's a doubt you can clear in front of your professor right away, right into the presentation. Okay? You can, uh, what, what happens with this is that when you say that I am more comfortable in Hindi, so can I talk in Hindi? If they say no, but some of the professors do not understand Hindi, so you have to talk in English. You'll be like, okay, sir, no problem. I'll try my best. I have practiced in front of mirror. So let's see how it goes. You can actually talk like that. And this is a way you can also handle nervousness because many people are frightened of going on to the stage and looking at so many people. They have that fright. And also you're being judged. That is kind of an exam. So you have to know that all the people that are sitting in front of you are also humans and humans commit mistakes. It has been a long standing myth that you are not allowed to do mistakes on the stage. It's completely fine. Even I make mistakes, like even I fumble while making videos. I do not edit them out. 
and it is very important that you be authentic in that sense so it's okay to fumble it's okay to do tata papa uh, it's fine it's completely fine uh, this is the process which you need to go through in order to improve it's not always like you will have all the thoughts in your mind and you can speak very fluently all the time so you have to uh, accept your mistakes it's okay to uh, fumble and everything if you are nervous again tell your professors it's really nice that if you enter into the uh, let's say the presentation room you can you can directly start with like this good morning everyone i'm really nervous with this presentation because this is the first time i'm doing this and i have also practiced in front of mirror like i said so uh, please bear with me or let's see how it goes it really sets the tone for your presentation because you are ready to commit uh, to like improving your mistakes and you are ready to accept your mistakes and then you can start your presentation let me tell you a good tip in order to start the presentation every time how people start i have seen good morning everyone uh, present in the room or good morning one and all present everyone in the room i uh, respected professor ye wo ye wo it's all fake do not do not sound unlike you sound like yourself go there wish everybody there are everybody you cannot take everyone's name right so you can start uh, you can start like this good morning everyone and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to present my project in front of all of you this is a very very good start and i want you all to do this do not start randomly like good morning everyone and i'm really uh, my project is like that do not straight away jump start like that you can like i told you about nervousness you can talk about nervousness and then start okay so once you say this okay so thank you for giving me this opportunity to present in front of you my project now let us understand what in in what order you should present your project the order is very important good presentation skills come from good organization skills in your mind and there is uh, one fact of english speaking which i'll tell you so first of all you have to talk about your problem statement all the time so you can talk like this uh, my project objective is like this we have to reduce the efficiency or whatever and we are working with this this particular machine and then there are three phases of your project what have you done in the past you started with that machine or you started like that and you started like that. you performed some thing you worked on particular machine you collected data remember the verbs i am using collected worked uh, improved whatever so i am using ed after every verb so this is the past tense form of the verb right so whenever you want to describe something that you have done in past you will use these words so you have to learn tenses past present and future and there are three phases in your project obviously so what you have done in the past what you are doing presently and what you are going to do in future this is the order in which you talk right now somebody if somebody asks you a question let's say some professor interrupts you and ask you but why is why what blah, blah, blah. and if you do not understand the question you should not say sorry sorry you should say pardon me sir i might not understand i might not have understood your question correctly uh, could you please repeat your question like that to to aise bolna hai you can talk like that okay and it's completely fine to ask such things because you are a human i am telling you again it's it's completely all right to blunder sometimes it's, it's completely all right to commit to mistakes on stage okay so if you remember this order if you are talking about let's say present a situation what you are working on right now you will use the forms like working improving collecting the data and uh, let's say improving efficiency whatever so we'll use ing i am currently working on acquiring the data meeting the people whatever you will use these forms of the word ye dusra part hoga this is the second part of your project what you are doing right now okay and next stage is what are you going to do in future what are you what are your objectives how are you going to converge to your objective and you will use the form will be or will i will be doing that or i will do that so you have to learn three things out of english in order to improve your english right away past tense present tense and future tense you don't have to learn anything extraordinary if you learn tenses your english becomes very good start speaking in english remembering this tense form okay now next step is about your body language okay whenever you are giving presentation look at the foreheads whoever whosoever is sitting in front of you you don't have to look at their eyes if you look at their eyes you will be nervous you might laugh as well or you you will be like you will be turned blank 
you will not know what to do so you have to look at the four heads okay it allows for a real time interaction everybody feels that you are looking at everybody and then you are still in control because you you are not looking at their eyes but if somebody asks you a question let's say some professor asks you a question and you are answering you can look at their eyes and then answer answer respectfully okay don't don't be like do not argue with them but it is not like that i said like that no if their question is relevant say thank you so much for the question sir and let me just clarify it is like that show your hands like use your hands people what people do with their hands they do not know where to put their hands some people put their hands in the pocket some people like put their hands in front some people put their hands backwards but then you have to know how to use your hands in dramatics what i learned is that if you have a prop your confidence level is at another level so if you have let's say that pointer that when you point with a laser on the presentation that's a great thing to improve your confidence it also allows you to use your hands well you because you're holding something if you're not holding anything you can just use a stick or you could probably show with your hands whatever that you're doing on your presentation another thing with the presentation is that what people do when they are nervous they just like they are looking at the presentation slide and they are reading everything point a we've done this then done that so if somebody wanted just to like read it you could have just sent the presentation to everybody right whatever that you are going to describe needs to be like a story what you have done in the past what you are currently doing and what are you going to do next this is how you organize and you have to tell this as a story but the intrinsic details you are let's say you are saying uh, i am going to work with this particular ins- instrument uh, the name of this instrument is this is but the specification of instruments could be written on the presentation now you can look at the specifications of this instrument on the presentation what this instrument is, instrument does is that it is a very very fast and it it consumes low power but if some let's say some professor ask you why have you used this particular instrument you are uh, some sometimes people what what they do this has happened in reality is one of my friends said uh, because sir uh, this uh, this instrument is uh, very good you do not talk like that in presentation you do not have to use such words like it's very good it's very nice it's uh, very big no you have to talk specifically why that instrument is good you have to talk about that it's technical specification so put something on the presentation which you cannot talk so you have to talk with people you have to engage people one more interesting thing that you can do if you do not know something if somebody asks you something and if you do not know the answer you can say i am obliged to answer that question sir for for now i am unaware of this fact but i'll surely work on that and will get back to you on this question in the next presentation this is a way to talk you have to respectfully agree with their views sometimes professors ask anything but in order to like maintain that dynamics like power dynamics you have to be humble and you'll say okay sir i agree with you and i'll definitely look into it even if you are not sure do not argue with professors or whatever that i am i have done is good sir but you are just asking me uh, to just make me nervous aisa nahi hota don't do like that okay so be very very humble there are some phrases which you can always use jo maine abhi aapko bataya i have told you all the phrases i have already told you how to improve your english work on that work on tenses and work on your body language try to use your use your hands uh in the coming videos of course i'll talk about let's say expressions and how to hold on to your audience how to engage them etc how to make presentations we can discuss so many things but i want your comments down below if you are really interested in something put down in the comments and i'll know what to cover in the next communication thing because i really want to help everybody out there who is struggling with communication let's say struggling with english struggling with making presentations or anything else let's say confidence etc so let me know in the comment section i'll be very happy to help you all and i'll be talking in english in all these videos let me know if you loved this video hit thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't because i'll be bringing more and more videos so see you soon with another video tab tak ke liye gyan pite rahiye